In the Louvre, we find this painting by Fra Angelico of the martyrdom of Saints Cosmas and Damien and their companions. The bystanders on the left parallel in depth the walled city. The upright figures echo the towers, while introducing a melodic variation by their swaying movements and bright colors. The connection between the group of figures and the walled city is maintained by the spear point's relation to the darker tones of the windows and the shaded tower, and by the white sleeves of the man wearing the red hat. Those sleeves with their inner shadows match the architecture. The towers march into the distance, and then their echoes sound and fade away in the tiny villages which dot the hills. Then we are brought forward again to the fence of trees which resumes the verticality of the towers, only now in an insistent pulse, like heartbeats, which in turn fade away, in an eloquent depiction of the heart-stopping moment before the blade strikes. Boom! 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 Do you feel that? That holding of breath as the pictorial space warps rapidly up in a diagonal to the right, drawing with it the landscape, in accordance with the concentrated axes of the executioner's sword and body. The hedgerow provides a transition to this warping as it curves up to the right. The dense vermilion of the executioner's legs tethers the dizzying pictorial and existential event to the ground plane. The curve of the road supplies a visual track for the swing of the sword. Nature participates in this execution, but she holds her breath in horror. The kneeling saint in red is steadfast, his moral uprightness amplified by the trees behind him and he suffers martyrdom in the flowering meadow. <laughs>